hi what's up welcome to my channel if you are new to my channel you're welcome if you are if you if you've uh, subscribed to my channel already you're welcome as well you know in this video i'm going to take you through the journey of creating you know uh, a very creative church uh, career bag in corridor without further ado let's step into it So we are going to be making use of this logo right here. Let's change the uh, <coughs> page size of our, you know, our drawing page. We are going to be using A2, A2, select A2. Uh, then you turn into landscape right here, landscape. Automatically snapped into uh, landscape, you know. So right now we are going to be mapping out the edges and uh, the hedge and uh, you know what have you. So what you are going to do right now is to uh, double click on the rectangular uh, tool right here automatically stamp into the page then make a copy of this box right here. Then you select that make a copy of it by dragging it all up just like so then you select that then you drag it as well copy so right now what you're going to do we are going to be trimming some part of this bag so this shape right here that you can see this rectangular shape we are going to uh, be tracing it in you know into shape so select the a subject right here you know hold <coughs> shift on your keyboard then you select this then you go over to trim so automatically trim into that then you select this as well your old shift on your con uh, old, uh, shift on your keyboard then you select the object you trim so automatically it's into side then you select that you trim <laughs> good so right now what you're going to do next is to select this object right here and you select this side object trim then you go by again select this object then you trim so right now what we're going to do is to just bring in this uh logo right here then we will type in its presence so the church it's a redeemed church of god so what we're going to do next is we just type uh this let's type in its presence 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 so right now what we're going to do is to just you know let's change the font to try Jan then you control K on your keyboard to break that into uh, pieces then you go over to a uh, font box to change the font into hello try Jan hello Paris you know then you make it bigger so right now what we are going to be doing right now is to let's create our background to make it look funky so what we're going to do right now is to change uh let's sample the blue this blue right here you know locate your uh what's it called color dropper tool then you sample this blue in here sample that then you pour it on the side bar right here then you pour it as well at the top and the bottom of the bag so what next right now let's uh, give it a gradient effect look at your uh, interactive transparent tool then you drag it on this object then you select this white uh, spot then you locate you know color dropper tool on this box on this dialog box right here select that then you sample the darkest side of this color so automatically it applies then you close this so what next right now is to just make a copy of this you know uh, object right here 
make a copy of this object by you know pointing your mouse to the head right here you can see you can see the, the indication of the arrow so asking you to uh, drag down or you pull up you know in this case we are going to pull it down just like so then you right click on your mouse automatically it copies paste so what we're going to do right now is to right click on that object right click on the object so it's been converted to uh, been converted to cough already so what we're going to do now is to just you know locate your shape to double click right here then you just pull it down just like so so right now what we are going to be doing right now is to you know copy uh this color this gradient effect right here you know what you go what you are going to be doing right now is to right drag this object then you drag it into this you know a triangle triangular object that you created below right here then you release automatically it brings up an option asking you to choose among that what you're going to do next is to just you know copy all properties automatically it copies all the you know gradients effect right there into the rectangular effect a uh, rectangular object which we have created so what next right now is to just you know uh locate your shape to then you right click on this line right here convert it to curve then you adjust just like so so right now what next is to just you know point your mouse uh, your your mouse to your mouse to the edge of this uh, object right here indicating you know can you see the arrow right there then you pull it <coughs> to the side just like this then you right click to make a copy of that then you send to back by pressing uh, control pick down your keyboard automatically snap down so what you're gonna do next you just sample the gold color right here then you paste on this object which you've, you've uh, copied so right now what next right now is to make a copy of this object right here copy to the other side just like so then you drag it in then you range it you know to the object so what next right now is to just you know be locate your <coughs> interactive field to we are going to make you know the other side of this object right here darker so what we're going to do go over to this place then you make this other side darker so what next right now is to press control page down on your keyboard to send to back can you see the outcome of that so what next just drag these two objects just like so can you see good then you drag the logo pull it up a bit make it smaller then you change the color of this presence presence can you see so right now what we are going to be doing is to just make this presence a bit bigger then you right click let me see black right click then you hit f12 on your keyboard automatically a dialog box pops up so asking you to take in <laughs> in this uh dialog box right here you can take in the outer line of this test outer line of uh, that very present test then you can decide to uh you know change uh what's it called the corner then fill uh uh behind fill scale with object what we are going to be doing right now is to change the thickness to make the outline a bit thicker go by again f12 let's make it seven then you click on round okay good so right now to apply gradient effect we have to change the 
half line go over to object then you convert half line to object automatically we can apply this gradient effect so can you see it pops up nice then let's try to adjust the dark side can you see right now good so what next right now we are going to be creating background for this bag <coughs> reduce this presence a bit then you make this a bit smaller just like so so as this right now our next task is to uh this white background right here we are going to be applying you know we are going to be creating a uh what's it called a very creative pattern into that you know <coughs> locate ellipse tool then you press down your control key on your keyboard to then you drag to create a perfect circle then you take in click on f12 on your keyboard automatically a dialog box pops up then you change the thickness to six then reduce make a copy of this drag it in one make a copy one then you drag it in one right click to make a copy then you drag the word again just like so then make a copy so what next right now what we're going to do is to just you know apply white then you combine that trim delete then you make this so right now what next is to just make a copy just like this then make a copy just like this then you make a copy again just like so then another then another then another then another just like that you know just like that just like that just like that so right now what you're going to do next is to just you know bitmap the whole thing convert to bitmap then you locate your transparency tool then it on uniform transparency then you make it a bit lighter so right now what you are going to be doing bitmap it then you pack clip into this object then you adjust then make it bigger adjust that then you reduce can you see so what next right now is to just you know let's arrange the address enter enter so what we're going to do next is to just paste this right here then you change it to white so we are going to be putting the social media logo and uh, let's make it bigger the address uh, and the social media then you <coughs> paste the social media logo beside the address and the email then the Instagram Can you see? <laughs> so here we come to the end of the tutorial. 
so this the this is the map out of the bag you know what next right now what we are going to be doing right now is to just mark it all up you know follow me follow me as i do that just right now so make a copy of what we created then let's delete this then you delete that then what next is to just double click on this object right here then you screw it just like so then you select the whole thing like this double click then you screw just like so so what that's right now we are going to be making a copy of this you know object to the other side when you get to your destination right click then you extract content good change it to grayscale then you page down control page down your keyboard automatically snap into place then you right click to disappear the star in within the object make a copy of this object right here when you get to your destination right click automatically it copy paste then we send to back control page down on your keyboard then you group these two together ctrl g then you make a copy of that then right click to make a copy so right now change this to blue the other thing to blue then pack clip this other thing place into frame automatically snap in in there then you press ctrl then you adjust that okay adjust it just like so so right now what next is to create the rope locate your ellipse tool then you hold on your control key on your keyboard then you draw a perfect circle right there then copy to the other side so right now what next is to just draw the rope locate your helix tool then you start from this point then you you know drag just like so drag just like that then you finish up right here so what we're going to do we are going to be uh <coughs> changing the color of the rope to gold the rope is gonna be gold so hit your F12 on your keyboard then you change the thickness of that to 9 <laughs> get this then you press ok that's to 10 go back again F12 let's make it 19 then hit F12 again 19 is a bit small let's make it 30 then you hit ok that's good so right now what you are going to be doing right now is to copy the other thing to the other side when you get to your destination right click then you select this rope right here press ctrl Pay down your keyboard automatically snap downward then you adjust just like so can you see the outcome of our design right now so we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and turn on the, quick, the notification button in case i have something special coming up bye for now see you some other time